What's up everyone, PA Outdoors here. Welcome to another installment of the Backyard Bushcraft series. Today is nothing fancy, nothing super sexy. It's knots. Tying knots. Which I think is a vital skill to have for any outdoor activity, whether it's canoeing and kayaking, camping, hunting, whatever it may be. And it doesn't take a lot. You need a little bit of cordage and you can sit down on your couch and tie a bunch of these basic knots, get out in the backyard and um, work on ridge lines, tightening knots, tensioning knots, that sort of thing. And you know, really important if you are setting up a ridge line for any kind of tarp or a hammock, um, even if a piece of gear fails you out in the field, say a guy line for a tent, the plastic tensioners that come with those things break, you know, are there knots you can do to replace that? Absolutely. And we're going to show you at least one of them here in this, in this episode. Stick around. We'll get started. Okay. Obviously, what do we need? Cordage. And that's really about it. Um, when I get outside to hang up a, a um, tarp, uh, I am going to use just a couple of pieces of sticks, uh, actually probably just some dowel rods I have sitting here in the garage somewhere, but, you know, nothing fancy. Um, I've been putting off doing this video, and when I finally decided to do it, like the day before, I get injured. Both thumbs. So, this may or may not go well. We're going to find out. Alright, let's get started with the very first knot. So the first knot is the bowline, or bow line. Um, pretty important knot, a lot of guys like to show it off, and um, it's not a very not hard knot to do. A little bit of nomenclature very quickly. You know, so you've got your piece of cordage. You know, if you're working on just an end of it, you'll have your tag end, or working end, as some people call it. And then you have the standing end, which is basically the rest of the cordage. So, we got our piece right here. Let's do the bowline. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make a loop. Just like that. Fairly small loop. Then you're going to take your tag end. Let's get myself a little bit more here. Alright. There's our loop. You're going to take your tag end, run it through the loop, around the back side of the standing end, and then back through that original loop. Then you're going to take these two pieces right here, this one and the tag, and pull tight. A little extra on your tag end, and that's your bowline. And how do you know you've done the bowline properly? If this tag end is sticking directly into the center of the loop, or you know, just kind of running parallel to one of the sides of the loop, but that's it. Um, very useful knot. What I typically use it for is when I'm wrapping a cord around a tree, I'll run it so my arm is the tree, just like that. I'll run it through, and then that tensions around the tree. And usually if I have like a, a ridge line that I've got set up, I'll usually just keep the bowline tied in one end of my ridge line. Alright, so let's take this out and do this one more time. And this should be not fun wearing two band-aids on my thumbs. Oh, that didn't go so well. The nice thing about the bowline is, is obviously they're pretty easy to remove, to take back apart. So let's try this one more time. And make our loop. Tag end is going to come through the loop, around the back side of the standing end, and then back through that same loop. And we're going to pull it tight. Give it a tug on the tag end, and there we go. There's our bowline. Next knot I'm going to show you is the figure eight. Uh, now this knot I don't really use very often. It's mostly used as just a stopper knot. So you've placed a knot in a piece of cordage for some reason, and just as an extra safeguard for the knot not to come out, you put in a stopper knot. And typically, you go with the figure eight. So. You make a loop, you make another loop, 
So it kind of gives you the whole figure eight look right there. Then you take your tag and pull it through the very first loop you made. And as you can see, it's starting to make a figure eight. And there's your figure eight. And another reason this makes a good stopper knot is, is when it's all together, the tag just stays right in line with your piece of cord. It's just not sticking out this way or off that way. It's a nice clean looking knot. That's the figure eight. Try not make these things too tight. So there we go. We'll do that one more time. Make a loop. Make another loop to kind of get your, your figure eight. And then pull the tag through that first loop. And there's our figure eight. Now another knot that you can do to replace the bowline, or, or not the bowline, the bowline, bowline, whichever you want to call it, is, I'm not sure the exact name of it, I basically call it just a half hitch on a bite. What's a bite? A bite is this. It's not a loop, you just run the two lines parallel to each other. And then we just do a half hitch. Now this does usually require a little bit of cleaning up. You want to make sure you're your loops all run parallel to each other. That one turned out pretty good. But in effect, this can do the exact same thing as a bowline does as far as, you know, wrapping around a tree. Uh, it's probably not as strong as a bowline, uh, and it's definitely harder to take apart. So, like I said, I'm not sure if this has an exact name. I just basically call it a half hitch on a bite. The next knot is a fisherman's knot, which can be used a couple different ways. Um, you know, first, it is a great way to secure two pieces of cordage together. So in this case, I think I have like two eight foot sections or thereabouts, maybe not even eight, maybe six foot sections. And say I need to make a ridge line out of them. And obviously they're just not long enough. So I need to tie them together. Well, how do I do that? Well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to make two slip knots. We're going to tie the or this orange one in a slip knot around this kind of tan colored one to give us a slip knot. So the tan one slides within that orange one. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to take this tan one and tie a slip knot around this orange one. So in essence, I have two slip knots. Pull them together, and they make a really good, strong hold. And how do you know you've done this correctly? It's pretty simple. When you see these two pieces of cordage parallel, that's kind of what's holding it all tight. And actually, as the tighter I pull, the tighter these knots get. That's the fisherman's knot. Now the way I usually use fisherman's knots is to make a prussic loop. And basically that is, I've just got this piece of maybe two foot long, it's probably even longer than I would normally use, but just two foot long of the same cordage. And I'm going to do the exact same method. I'm going to tie a slip knot around one of the lengths, and then take this tag and tie a slip knot around the other half of it. Pull it all together. And I have effectively made just a big loop. And actually I didn't even tie that, I didn't tie that right. So here's what it looks like if you didn't do the fisherman's not quite right. See how those don't run parallel? I've got a knot on this side, and then you know it's looped on this side, and then it's looped on this side. And basically what I did was I tied one of the slip knots upside down. Will it still hold? I mean probably, but it's not a perfect fisherman's knot. But anyways, what this prussic loop is, when I get outside and hang up a ridge line, I'll show you what I do with one of these. 
Okay guys, I foresee this video running a little bit long, and who wants to sit and watch a half an hour's worth of knot tying? So, we're going to stop this here, we're going to call this part one. Part two, we're going to head outside and uh, do some work outside. Run a ridge line, show you a taut line hitch, which is uh, very useful. So, we're going to end it here, part one. Thanks for watching. Look out for part two. Probably do that here, uh, upload that in just in a few days. PA Outdoors, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment on this video. Subscribe to my channel. Get outdoors, enjoy yourself, but remember, be safe out there. Thanks for watching.